Now I have something really exciting to tell people. And uh, this is some new things that are happening in the, in the Stanford Medical Center. And uh, my wife always tells me I'm just too laid back and I don't tell people that I communicate that I'm exciting. So I was going to do this. <laughs> Uh, and so this is a. <laughs> um, uh, we have a video uh, from the chair of medicine uh, at Stanford. Uh, this is backed by all of the Stanford Medical Center and the dean. It, it's a new program to revamp and redo the clinic at Stanford for MECFS. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited about it. This is uh, Dr. Harrington. Uh, uh, he, he came to me and talked about what his plans are, and it's really clear that he understands the problems that need to be addressed and, uh, and really committed to trying to uh, help out the patients. The biggest problem, of course, is that there are so few clinics that really help the patients. And uh, if you're going to divide it up amongst the cl existing clinics, it only means Stanford has to see about 100,000 patients. Uh, this is just an impossible task. But what we have to start is show an example of uh, what a good clinic would look like in a medical center and try to get other centers to do the same thing. It will cost Stanford, I'm sure, a, a lot more than they can make on this, but it has to get done. So if we could show the video. Hi, my name is Bob Harrington. I'm a cardiologist and I'm chair of the Department of Medicine at Stanford University. It's really in my role as the chair of the department that I help to create the strategy and oversee the programs related to the care of patients and the research programs in MECFS. And first off, I want to say that as a department, we are committed to taking care of our patients, uh, which is now quite a large patient population suffering from this uh, debilitating disease. And so you can count on Stanford for being engaged and interested in the care of this patient population. Secondly, I think you'll be pleased to hear, or at least I hope you'll be pleased to hear, that we're really uh, redirecting our attention uh, to the clinical care of patients with uh, MECFS to really approach this from a multidisciplinary perspective. Uh, we think that we have the expertise on campus uh, coming from a variety of divisions within the department, but also from other departments where we can really approach the clinical care uh, in a better integrated way that involves the multidisciplinary talents uh, across the School of Medicine. So this would be involving primary care, this would be involving infectious disease, this would be involving GI, neurology, cardiology. We're really trying to bring together the expertise on campus that really can provide a great care team to, uh, to look after our patients with, uh, with MECFS. We're also really committed to the notion of how do we better integrate the research process into the care of patients. And from my vantage point, I can't think of a better place in the world, uh, given our expertise in the basic science of immunology, for example, that could really do a terrific contribute, make a terrific contribution by bringing the talents of our researchers in line with the talents of our clinicians. And so we look forward to working with Dr. Davis uh, Dr. Uh, Mark Davis and a number of other people on campus who are interested in trying to unravel uh, the causes of this disease so that we can make progress then in the clinic. So I'm apologizing for not being here with you today. I'm on an airplane as you view this, and uh, but I look forward to, uh, to continue to inform the community and to make sure that our that the progress that's being made in the department is more widely known. So thank you for having me via video today and I look forward to hearing more about your deliberations today.